and welcome back to another video. So hopefully today I'll be able to do the first page of the sketchbook just to kind of just re-kickstart the sketchbook doodle series that I kind of abandoned for a couple of months because I've just not been too confident drawing in my sketchbook lately on camera at least. Um, I still have fun drawing in my sketchbook from time to time but it's just not for video sake. Um, but yeah. So this sketchbook I'll have linked down below. Um, make sure to follow her so you know when her store will be open or planning to open or like if she's gonna do like any sales or anything. So yeah. So I don't have particularly any plans of what I want to do on the front cover. Part of me wants to do pencil crayon, but I know for me it's gonna be a pain in the butt to do. So another part of me just wants to keep it simple and do watercolor and do pen on top and just keep it really loose and you know like don't put too much pressure on myself so we'll see how we're gonna do this i'm gonna do a quick sketch not sure if i'm gonna do i'm not i don't know if i'm gonna film all of it we'll see so for the sketching portion i am gonna be using my palette color eno and i just have pink lead in here instead of the usual um red lead that i have in here we're just gonna quickly sketch something probably Masaki to do kind of like a quick like hello page. I like to put hello on the front of the sketchbook and on the back of the sketchbook I like to put goodbye. Kind of just like an intro and then an ending to the sketchbook. I have an idea I think. I might have to tilt my sketchbook. I think this is the only reason why I don't want to film sketchbook videos. Actually wait let me change the setup real quick. Okay, so I actually have my sketchbook propped up on that stand that I've used for my Gaomon tablet. So I like to use this for sketching actually every so often if I don't want to prop my sketchbook on my knees. And I forgot to do this for the recording of this. It would have been a lot easier and I could have done it for like the sketchbook tour as well. But okay, so hopefully I can do the sketching portion a little bit easier. So I think I am going to do the watercolors and pen. I'm going to add a little bit of pencil crayon on top if I need to add a little bit deeper color or thick anything. I'm actually going to move his nose over. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna think how, how this is gonna work. Um, his eyes aren't straight. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix that during the lining. Now hopefully not too much oil is transferring from my hands to my sketchbook or the watercolor is gonna look super like weirdly patchy. <laughs> I have to move this. So I like these um, binder clips that I got from Jet Pens. So normal binder clips actually fold like inwards and they would hit in towards your drawing space. But these fold to the side so it like and kind of minimizes the amount of space it takes, which is really nice. The thing is, like, I can't rest my hand here, that's the only issue with using the stand, but... So, how do I want to do this? That, and I kind of want... it's kind of like... It's like a picket thing, like a little sign. I'll make it really small, but I'll say hello on it. Okay, 
because there's a lot more like darker colors I am think it's okay with making these look very vague because I'm just gonna have to slowly like highlight um little areas that will make it look more like flowers and stuff it'll make more sense when I start painting I hope and then it'll make even more sense once I start to do the line work. I'm gonna grab my watercolors. So this is my usual watercolor palette. Um, if you're interested in seeing anything about my watercolor palette or anything, I'll make sure to link down my video that I talk about all my traditional supplies as well as my digital tools and all that and it will have a kind of a quick overview of everything that I have in this palette so that if you're interested in that please check it out because I will not list every paint that I have in here um yeah so I'm just gonna be using my Raphael Kalinsky 8483 brush and we're just gonna quickly do some quick washes over Kawasaki. Now this pencil does dissolve in water, which is why I kind of opted to do this so I could just rough in anything how I like and then we can just go from there. If it disappears, it disappears. I'm not too worried because um, I can just always bring it back by doing the line work. Should have done it in one pass though. Oh, he's gonna look super patchy. Quickly do his arm and his hand. I should probably put a binder clip on the bottom part so that we don't have too much warping. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little bit patchy up here. But that's okay. We're gonna be adding a little bit more pink and red tones and making his face look a little bit more peachier as we move along because I like adding a little bit more kind of like blush and like shadows over top anyways and this is a sketchbook so I shouldn't be too bothered by if this doesn't look well I didn't really think of a light source, so we're just winging this. I'm not gonna do any harsh shadows anyways. I'm just gonna focus mostly on color. I'm like low-key thinking of getting a set of brushes that should be used for just inking. So I can use them with some waterproof ink or something, like black ink or sepia ink, sepia, sepia. Okay, next I'm gonna do his eyes really quick, and then while the eyes are drying a little bit, I'll do a bit of his hair, and hopefully the skin around his scalp-ish area will be, will be more or less dried. I think I mentioned this in a different video, but I really need to clean my palette. I have no space to mix any like pure color. <laughs> All of them have like been contaminated. These will make sense when I do the line work, I promise. <laughs> actually, I'm not gonna promise anything. I actually don't know how long I'm gonna ink this, so. I'll probably pull out the reference again when I do a little bit of the line work so that I can differentiate some of these flowers. As you can see, I'm being very like loose and a little bit messy because a lot of the line work is actually going to tell you where everything is. So I'm actually going to do the hair as one of the last parts now that I'm looking at it. I want to do all the light areas first. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of lighter ones here and there so it looks, looks more a little bit like layering. I should probably done the lighter color first actually. That's okay. It's a little too green. And the blue I added is a little bit too dark. That's okay. I'm gonna have to chisel out his arm from the side. Cause I did have his back showing a little bit or like the side of him showing a little bit, so. be too dark because I would like to do line work to help chisel out some areas. Two last navy flowers. One over here, and then one over here. I think actually I wanted this to be white. Oops, I can see indication of shadow here. Oops, that's okay. There's enough white, I think, white space here. Tomasaki has a really nice, just like chestnutty brown color. The hair. And it kind of matches his apron color, so let's see how well I can do this. I think this is dry. Okay, cool. So every time I do any kind of like watercolor doodle like this, I like to leave white spaces to indicate highlight as well as it just makes it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun to paint because you're not trying to create flat areas of color because I feel like it's kind of impossible to do that in this kind of a sketchbook unless you like I don't know if even if you keep your paper super clean and try watercolors I'm not sure how well it works Can you guys hear my neighbors? <laughs> Sorry if they're loud. They're usually like not as active I feel like in the middle of the day. Like they usually make a lot more noise like in the middle of the night. <laughs> Stuff on the sides. A little bit back here. Maybe I'll add a little bit to his apron. Not really too concerned about this. I kind of screwed up. I was supposed to add a little bit more peachy tones like with blush and stuff, but I think I'm going to add it with pencil crayon or with the Prismacolor Cole Erase. So I'm going to let this dry and we'll come back and do quick line work over top. Okay, so now that everything's dried, I have a headache now and I need to find my pen. <laughs> so the pen I usually like to use is this one. So this is just the Staedtler Liquid 0.7. So maybe we'll use this one and see how it goes. I'm just gonna move my palette. I'm gonna wait until the paint dries so I can close it without making a mess. Okay, so hopefully this works out well. Ugh. Okay. Let me zoom in for you guys though. Okay, so I'm an idiot and I closed Pinterest without saving that pin. So these flowers, I actually don't know what kind of flowers they are. So we're just gonna have to wing the kind of weird peachy or pinker kind of flowers make do. But yeah, I'm just hoping the ink actually dries. Or we're gonna have a hard time inking this properly. <laughs> So 
So this pen dispenses dispense, dispenses a lot of ink. I'm gonna try my other one. See if it's a little bit. It's about the same. Yeah, I can get a little bit thinner lines with this one. The other one just dispenses a little bit too much ink. Which isn't bad for doodling and stuff, but just because I want a little bit thinner lines right now. I have to do my best. I have to do my best to only ink stuff on the left side first. He looks a little derped. He, he looks really derped. He looks cuter in the sketch, I think. I'll just have to deal with it. Um, so I'm gonna do these first, and I actually don't really remember what this flower looks like. So I'm not exactly following the exact shape of these little washes, but I can see a little bit of my sketch, so I know what I want some things to look like. I should really do the top portion of his hair first. detail in some of these areas. looking that derpy. He's looking a little derpy. I think it might look cuter once I add in a little bit of the kind of like blush and cheeks into his face. I'm not too precious with doing inking for clothing. Like, unless I want it to make sense, then I will, but it's not exactly the main focus here, so it's okay. Okay, so the majority of this will be inking the flowers. Is this actually drying? Something tells me it's just... Yeah, I think it's this pen that doesn't dry, so maybe I shouldn't have done the hello with that pen. Because I think this one's drying. So it looks like... Kind of. I honestly don't know what these flowers are. Nor am I drawing them correctly, so... People can't help me identify them. <laughs> Kinda looks like a rose, so we're just gonna wing this. I think this pen is dying though. flowers are so ugly. <laughs> it's 
also didn't know how to draw them. Why did I exit out of that reference? God. Hi, so this is actually editing me, I guess. And I just kind of wanted to pop in because apparently I don't have any audio for this last section of the video. So I thought I'd do a little bit of voice narration just to end the video and give kind of my thoughts and opinions on this particular little i guess it's like kind of like a sketch in my sketchbook so basically if you guys couldn't tell i actually filmed this video on september 15th so that's gonna be over two weeks by the time you guys see it and yeah i wasn't planning to do this video or like i guess releasing it just because i had this footage just sitting around for two weeks and I decided to film another sketchbook doodles video, but I thought it'd be more appropriate if I actually released the beginning of this sketchbook, which would be this introduction page. So I hope you guys don't mind that this video is kind of late and yeah, hopefully more sketchbook doodle videos will be coming out and yeah, I think that's about it that I'm going to be talking about because I think overall I kind of like this little drawing. Um, I think it's kind of cute and I don't mind it as the first page in my sketchbook. I don't hate it, but I don't love it, but yeah. I think it was very fun to work on and hopefully I'll be continuing to sketch more in my sketchbook and hopefully share that little sketchbook journey with you guys like I did before with a little bit less pressure this time. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this and thank you very much for the support for the last few videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now and I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!